What's up, my friends? My name is Jake, and I'm so glad that The Current has brought you here today because we're about to dive into some pretty cool stuff. Today, we're gonna explore some of the amazing things God has created that lie deep below the surface. What can be hard for even the divers to see? One way we can get all of our fins in motion is to play a game. You'll see a picture of a sea creature, but it's gonna be zoomed in on just one part of it. You'll have 10 seconds to guess what sea friend you think this is. If you're ready, let's count it down from three and say fins. Here we go. Three, two, one, fins! That was fun! There are so many awesome things in the deep blue, and some are so far below the surface that we may never see them. That actually makes me think of what it's like to follow Jesus. Sometimes, we can easily see the awesome things that following Jesus is leading us to, but other times, we can't. Instead, we get to trust Him and move forward, believing that He has a good plan for our lives, even when we can't see it clearly. So let me hear you say this after me as loud as you can. Trust. Trust. Jesus. Jesus. Great job. Because sometimes we're not really sure what the plan for our lives is or how everything's going to work out. But we can show Jesus that we trust him by moving our thoughts from what's going on around us to thinking about him and how good he is. So let's do that now. some great singing. 
Now, my friend Reed has something awesome for us today. Hey friends, surf's up. While I do love a good wave riding opportunity, today I want to talk to you about an opportunity I recently had to dive just a little bit deeper. Well, let me get back up for a second. I love all things about the ocean, from animals in the deep blue to sports like surfing, but I've always been kind of afraid of a couple big marine animals until just a few weeks back when I decided to conquer all my fears once and for all. I went on a trip and got a little bit up close and personal with some of the ocean's biggest, most intimidating creatures. And that's the best part, I live to tell about it. The first fear I conquered, you may have guessed it, the Great White. realize this, but there's actually a way you can get close to the sharks without getting hurt. There's these things called diving cages, and they're pretty much exactly what they sound like. Now don't you think you could just wake up one day, hop in an old metal box, and live to tell the story? These are special cages built to withstand shark bites and headbutts, while inside you're locked up and safe and sound, and there's no way for the shark to actually harm you. But having been there, I can tell you firsthand that there is a level of trust that goes into being close to one of the ocean's fiercest fish. The whole time I was down there, all I could think was, what if this cage unlocks? What if the strongest shark ever, and he breaks the cage? But the experts assured me that we would be locked in tight, and the best part I got to see those sharks, while large, are actually beautiful and majestic creatures. And if you weren't already holding your breath from being underwater, they take your breath away. But sharks weren't the only fear I conquered while I was vacationing. There was this one other big guy I gotta get a closer look at, and that was the manta ray. Not everybody's heard of manta ray, so let me fill you in. These guys can grow up to 18 feet long, weigh as much as a full grown cow. And when they open up their mouths, they look like they can eat you right up. But during my trip, I learned, unlike stingrays, manta rays don't have a stinger or a barb on their back end that could hurt a human. So I decided to dive in and actually got to feed a manta ray at night. When I was down there, I learned I didn't need to worry about them eating me because they only eat plankton. And we were just there helping them get the plankton off the bottom of the ocean. Now, that is pretty cool. Here's the thing. I had to put a lot of trust into that cage and it was pretty scary at times. My whole life was depending on that cage keeping me safe. And that's kind of like my relationship with Jesus. I've chosen to put my whole life in his hands and trust that he's always fighting for me. Following Jesus is the best decision anyone could ever make. And trusting Jesus is something his followers get to do every single day. When we follow Jesus, we'll see that there's nothing he cannot do and we trust that if Jesus has taken care of us once, he'll do it again, and a million times over. That was fascinating. Can you believe all the trust Reed had to have to go diving with sharks and manta rays? Reed always finds a way to help us understand more about how everything in creation points to Jesus. That reminds me a lot about this guy from the Bible named Peter. Here, you guys check this out. God's story. Peter walks on water. So remember how part of God's story is about a guy named Simon who was renamed Peter because he was one of the first people to follow Jesus? Well, it goes like this. Peter left everything to follow Jesus with 11 other guys. They were called disciples. And one day, they were with Jesus while he was teaching a large crowd. After teaching, Jesus wanted some time alone to pray. He told his disciples to go ahead of him in a boat across the Sea of Galilee. Later that night, the wind picked up and the boat was surrounded by crashing waves. Meanwhile, Jesus decided to join them. And since Jesus can do anything, he walked out to the boat right on top of the water. When the disciples saw a man walking across the dark sea, they had no idea it was Jesus. They thought it was a ghost. Jesus said, be brave. It's me. Don't be afraid. Peter decided to find out for himself. He said, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. So Jesus said, come. Kids, 
If Jesus told you to step out onto the stormy waves, would you do it? Well, Peter did. He got out and walked on top of the water just like Jesus. As soon as he saw the crashing waves though, he got scared and started to sink. Jesus caught him and said, your faith is so small. Why did you doubt me? It might sound kind of surprising that Jesus called Peter's faith small when he was the only one brave enough to get out of the boat. But the truth is, Jesus is powerful and can help us do anything. He wants us to trust him even when it makes no sense or scary things are happening around us. When Jesus and Peter climbed into the boat, all the disciples realized Jesus is most definitely the Son of God. So they worshiped him. And that's part of the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Peter was a disciple. The disciples got in a boat. Jesus prayed. Waves crashed. Jesus walked on water. The disciples got scared. Jesus told Peter to come. Peter walked on water. He saw the waves. He got scared. He sunk. Jesus caught him. The disciples worshiped Jesus. And that's a part of God's story. When Peter trusted Jesus and stepped out of that boat, a miracle happened. Not only did he walk on water, but he also saw that Jesus could be trusted completely. Okay, I want to see if you can remember some things that we talked about today. So check this out. What were Peter and the disciples not scared of on the boat? A, the wind and crashing waves. B, a shark. C, the ghost they thought they saw. Or D, all of the above. They were not scared of a shark in that moment, but they were scared of the stormy winds and waves. And when they saw Jesus walking on the water, they were terrified because they thought he was a ghost. But in the end, they learned that they could trust Jesus in the midst of all of those fears. Ready for the next one? What can you do to show Jesus that you trust him? A, pray when you're worried. B, thank him for all that he's done. C, sing worship songs to him. Or D, all of the above. All of those things will help you trust Jesus. You guys, today's been so much fun. And I hope that you'll come back next week. Before you go, let's pray together. Jesus, we are so thankful that we can trust you. Remind us of how much you love us and care about us whenever we're scared or worried. Please help us to trust you more every day. Amen.